Please do subscribe to my channel by clicking on that subscribe button and please also don't forget to hit that notification bell icon to be the first one to receive the updates on this channel. What's going on guys, Janus here and today I'm bringing this video to you guys on understanding how to know if a DPS servant is useful or pretty much useless, alright. So I'm gonna give you some like hints on how to determine that uh, if a DPS servant is gonna really gonna be your best friend or a worst friend, alright. So uh, let's get this started with. So let's get into the collection and then we can see a lot of DPS servant right out there. Let's go by class and then by this thing right over there. So the first factor is obviously like we have various sorts of DPS servants, especially like, uh, you know, uh, like they deal the damage based on their defense, based on their attack, based on the max HP of the enemy unit. And obviously, finally, as you know like ignores the defense of the enemy right so these are the four types especially basically speaking right so uh, when we are talking about the servant that deals the damage based on their like attack stats right this should actually deal at least 7700 percent damage upon skill use all right so that's the minimum factor right over there and when you are actually looking forward for the servant that deals the damage based on their defense, you have to look out for 7,084% damage upon skill use, alright? That would be the minimum standard. And finally, when you are talking about the ignore defense, when you are talking about the ignore defense, we where is the Christine? Oh my god, where is the Christine? Okay, so, uh, <laughs> just a minute. Right over here, uh, this one, okay. So, Christine we have here. So, when uh, a 5 star nat servant deals the damage based on on like ignoring the defense they should deal at least uh 2464 percent but our fire christine actually deals 2772 percent damage so that is pretty awesome guys that is pretty awesome we can actually go into like fire zeta and uh, we will be able to see that yes the c or he deals only 2464% damage that ignores the enemy's defense okay so that is a vast difference all right that's why like you know like fire christine like she is a really good uh you know like uh defense ignoring uh servant all right so that's one thing how you want to go for the max hp i think um, you know like the mathematics is not really uh clear all right so we will need to wait for that one out and the next thing is that like uh in the case of like dps servants they need to be like aoe damage dealer if they are really gonna be great all right i mean like if they are aoe damage dealing machines then that can be so good guys some can be like partial aoe damage dealer like this one summons flame finger that attacks all enemies in a straight line all right so that is a little bit limited so it's like a partial aoe you know like the main aoe and uh, like combo skill dealers and uh, you know like they are like this one saying damaging all enemies nearby within an aoe attack okay with an aoe attack so that's like aoe attack dealer all right so with an aoe attack dealer you will have uh, much viability and much uh, higher advantage in the pvp battles or right? ipvp because not only you will deal the damage to the tanks but the squishy dps or support servants lying behind the tank all right so that can make your game much easier all right so that can be the case and the next thing is that like obviously the first skill and the second skill and the combo skill are pretty much uh, redundant all right it's uh pretty much a little bit of copy paste in most of the cases scenario in this game all right the first skill actually you know like always uh increasing the damage or uh, you know like uh, breaking down the defense right and the second skill usually uh, increasing the attack of the caster all right and the combo skill usually deals the damage the pure damage just like that all right 7700 percent damage all right so the main deciding factor that actually uh you know like uh, separates between a bad and a good DPS servant is actually the passive skill, all right? Passive skill really matters a lot. It actually is a bridge between a bad and a good servant, all right? Or a useful and a useless servant, all right? So, uh, it says combo skill have a 50% chance to decrease the defense of all enemies for 30 seconds by level 5, which is pretty good, all right? Which is pretty good. Uh, what happens like in most of the cases scenario, we are actually going to look uh, for a servant 
that actually uh, boost his or her damage all right uh, very nicely like let's say forest archangel let's look into this passive skill it says becomes immune to defense debuffs okay so which is so awesome all right so awesome all right just like that increases uh, defense by 50 percent for the duration of redemption redemption comes from his second skill and with that redemption being casted upon himself he actually increases his defense by 50 percent as he is also a servant that deals the damage based on his defense it will also boost up his attack so wow isn't that awesome all attacks received will land as a glancing hit upon being hit by a water enemy all right so glancing hit rate is one of the like overpowered or op stat in this game because like uh, once you like glance it or every sort of hits coming to you you actually start to become immune to the attacks i mean like you know the bob debuffs okay not the attacks you know, debuffs you also keep on cutting up the critical hit rate and the critical damage boost all right and even the ignore defense boost guys these are the things that you are really gonna ignore just like that and it's really really op that's why water uh lenor all right where is water lenor water lenor has actually become or she has still she is still one of the best dps servant in the game because of her passive skill becomes immune to speed reduction all attacks received will land as a glancing hit rate upon being hit so isn't that awesome guys i mean like that is just too cool all right uh i mean like she is one of the like very very like old unit in this game all right and she has still managed to be in the top of the chain because of this passive skill because it really does make her so so cutting edge and the next thing is uh like let's say uh, or uh, we can actually go to like useless servants like like let's say like we can talk about like forest spiegel he's also a very old servant and he still needs to get a lot of revamps before he can actually become so useful well his first skill second skill and third skill actually are pretty much like you know like same thing but with his passive skill it says it decreases the stunned enemy's defense for 30 seconds upon attacking all right so what happens like in most of the cases like dps servant you know like it is just a utility thing all right you can actually cover up that utility by any other like uh, other servants especially like support servants or whatever that is i mean like it becomes and redundant skill all right and uh, you know like ignore defense is sort of i mean i'm not like i mean like uh decreasing the defense of the enemy unit is sort of like a very very common thing in this game for a dps unit all right most of the units they just have it they, it on their like first skill all right and his first skill is so useless just see that it just says deals damage based on speed and it doesn't have any sort of utility whatsoever isn't that really like like useless it's really useless guys so that is the thing right over there and the next thing is that like it needs to have the really good uh, relation effect as well the relation effect should always give the attack boost or the critical rate boost or the critical damage boost but most preferably attack boost for the uh, service that deals the best on the uh, attack based on attack all right or a speed and defense boost for the servants who actually deals the damage based on their defense stats all right so we can go to this one and just look at that all right if an ally ace sphinx is present defense increases by 100 percent all right so that is the thing <laughs> so uh next thing is that like uh, there are other like uh, you know like uh, uh like the uh, DPS servant like let's say this forest Valkyrie, who's uh, you know like relation effect really doesn't make any sense at all all right it is just too bad if an enemy Lenor is present the target's passive skill effect will be blocked like what seriously okay so I mean like maybe she can have a little bit more viability in the PPP battles but hey in like in like most of the cases she will actually be left out because of her low 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 attack output attack damage output all right so that can actually be a very big problem right over there and her passive skill also really kind of a little bit sucks because like it says 20 percent just to create a shield for 30 seconds based on hp upon basic attack which can actually be knocked out anytime that's not a very huge boost and combo skills ignore defense while shield is active so this is what has really made her a very very confusing unit all right i mean like should we really go with a very like you know like uh uh you know like uh like uh, attack building dps meaning like you know like uh equipping her with like havoc or beast gears okay have have a gears or should you just go with the beast gears all right because like she is lingering between the limbo of being a servant that deals the damage based on their attack all right or 
uh, based on her like on, on ignoring the defense of the enemy unit all right so that has really really made her so confusing in it and i am not actually building her up even though i have a lot of copies of her so i'm not still building her up guys and that's what is really limiting uh this unit uh not really that good so the next thing that we really need to look out is for the team passive is the team passive really good okay one of the best team passive that i really found in this game is of the zetas all right so when you actually look into like water zeta right over here just look at that it says attack of the water water allies increases by 52 percent at all reasons isn't that awesome guys 52 percent damn that's awesome guys in all reasons that is super duper awesome because like in most of the cases like other like uh, dps servants what really happens is like dear uh you know like uh like uh, you know the uh uh attack boost is kind of limited all right or it's kind it, it actually doesn't make any sense like let's say for this water illusion it is totally totally useless it says hp of all element allies increases by 35 percent all, re all reasons like like why like why it could have been attack but why hp okay just look at that i mean like uh, try to get a dps servant that actually aids to his or her damage output all right increasing the hp of her or any other you know like uh, units in the team will not actually boost her chance to <laughs> increase the, her attack okay so that is really really bad that means she will have to um, resort or let's say depend upon the another servant to actually give her the attack boost let's say you are using water illusion and you want to give her a very good team passive of the attack boost then obviously you are supposed to use water zeta because with water zeta you will be actually boosting her attack by 52 percent all right in all regions so this is the also another determining factor that how can be how to actually separate between a very bad and a very good dps servant all right uh, <laughs> so that's the case guys i mean like some units really actually don't make any sense because like their team passive is totally way off the line way off the hook it really doesn't make any sense at all even though they have like very good first second and combo skill her their team passive can actually suck down to the very very bottom of the ground all right so that can actually make a lot on a lot of difference all right so uh they are very very good uh servants that i really have actually shown to you right right i mean like you can also check out my top tier or the best uh you know like uh, dps servants in the game i've already made a list of them and made a video about them as well you can actually check them out one out obviously this forest eladriel or let's say the forest archangel all right the water laner water zeta these are like top-notch dps servants whereas for the bad dps servants we can actually take the advantage example of like Forest Spiegel, Forest Zeta, Water Bastille, all right. These are the servers that really actually doesn't, you know, like aid you much in the damage output. But hey guys, any DPS servant can actually deal a massive amount of damage if you can actually transcend them to stage five and also awaken them to the stage five, all right. So please just don't throw them, um, throw them away just easily, all right. Meaning like obviously they are prone to future revamps, all right with the future revamps and future update patch notes all right uh this um, dps servant can actually get a huge boost so you can also keep on uh, waiting out for that kind of thing to happen and voila you the most uh like unusable dps servant could actually be the most top 10 killer in the game in the in the upcoming updates all right so that is the thing going on out there so you cannot just really say like somebody is really useless or somebody is very useful but for the current uh meta these are the ways on how you can actually say that if a servant is useful or useless anyways this is it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to keep on enjoying the contents of my channel and see you guys in the next video